Hey there, I hope you're having a wonderful day. My name is Nate and in the previous video I shared how you can create a drag and drop word order sort of hack with a drag and drop freeform, but that one wasn't tracking correctly. Now in this video I'll show you how you can track correctly with another freeform hank ha hack and this video is jam-packed with tips. And visit storylineaudit.com where you can share your project with me, I review it, give it back and everything is glorious. All right, let's jump in. So this is where we left off the last time. And first we're gonna duplicate this one because I don't, I don't want to lose the slide. And now first we'll go to insert and remove freeform. Yes, I love this combination, insert to remove, haha. <laughs> okay, now we are on a blank, no freeform situation here. First, Let's preview what's happening. Now, here is the situation. I cannot drop these words down because there's no drag and drop interaction. So what can we do to sort of activate it? What we can do is the following. We will change the state of the word, word one, to state normal it's already normal but we're just setting up the trigger here to activate the drag and drop thing when object dropped on object word one is dropped on target drop okay now i can just copy and paste this trigger to other triggers it's going to change correctly so word two uh, on drop and it's going to change to normal, 3 normal, 4 normal and preview. Okay, you can see this works, but here's the problem. How can we set the settings for drag and drop? How it's going to put the dropped items here? Because in the freeform you have options for this, but where are options for our situation here? So you right click, you go to drag and drop and you say tile. So there are actually options even if you're working with a totally custom drag and drop. Okay, and now if we preview again, it totally works amazingly. Okay, next we will create two dummy objects uh, right here maybe just here for for the start so we're gonna we're gonna call this one correct and give it a selected state and just change the color so it's gonna be clear what's happening and we're gonna just duplicate this one and call it wrong okay so these are our dummy objects now Let's insert and convert to freeform and we're gonna say pick one. Now from the form we're gonna select correct and wrong and the correct one will be correct. If it wasn't obvious. Right, now we need some triggers just to connect this, you know, this web of magic. So after they are dropped in these drop items we want the submit button sort of to, to go through the checks like we did previously. So for now, I'll just, I'm gonna remove the, the trigger to submit the interaction. And first thing we're gonna do is activate our uh, variable uh, move. So we're gonna say adjust variable move to true when, or actually we should say toggle when user clicks submit so when they submit the variable changes and it goes through the triggers and these guys go down and change the states to okay just like in the previous video if you haven't seen it link is somewhere here okay now they move down now we need to we need to sort of check if it's correct so this is going to be the next trigger we're going to say change state of our object correct to select it when state of all of the words 
is OK. And now we actually don't have to do anything else because what we're going to do is the wrong option is going to be selected from the start. So it's going to be selected all the starts and they, if they submit and they don't do anything, it's going to submit as a wrong item because here this is an option which is not correct. Okay, let's just preview and see what's happening now before we go forward. Because we've done, we've done a lot of things <laughs> by now. Okay, so if I submit, these guys just move down and nothing happens for now. Let's preview again. So if I drag it down, and if I set this correctly, so this is totally submit, we can see that this one is now selected. And only but one button can be selected at a time. It's a button set automatically because we have a pick one interaction. So that's great. So after these guys move and uh, uh, circle is selected, we want to submit the interaction. Okay, now we just have to set the submit trigger. And I was playing around with this and was trying different versions and this is the best version I came up with. So what we're going to do is we're going to submit the interaction once the animation completes of check yeah four or one I'll just pick one because it's the first one down. So when they are moving down which is just 0 0.1 second when they're moving down this one changes to correct and when animation completes it submits the interaction. I was trying the other versions but it seems that after these guys change states you cannot just submit immediately. That, that trigger didn't work. So it's better just to have a slight delay and I'm, that's why I'm using the animation complete here. First, let's do the correct version. This is totally amazing. Submit, get selected, it submits, it's correct. Fantastic. We can also try the wrong version. It should work, but for the video purposes. Okay. This one's already selected, submit. It doesn't change, it submits, it's, it's wrong. And of course, at the end, you would hide this. It's, it's nice to show them when you're testing and developing, but at the end, you shove them away. Um, and I know there's one more detail. Unfortunately, there's no shuffling here, so just shuffle these by hand. I know, hard work, uh, but I'm sure you can manage. And then just let's preview again, just for one final test. Dummies are hidden. This is totally amazing. Also drag return is enabled. Submit, correct, fantastic. It tracks correctly, everything works. You're not shouting in the comments anymore and I'm happy. <laughs> okay, just the drag, uh, drag return, there is actually an option. So if you right click on the draggable object, you have drag and drop and there's a check mark for drag return. So also these options are here. So thank you for being here with me. I think this was a fun exercise, a fun little challenge, and I hope you took something from this. Take care and I'll talk to you in the next video.